Welcome back, Mighty Mamas. I'm so excited for today's video because it is finally my first home project I get to share with you guys here on my channel. Today's video, I am going to be transforming my kitchen island with shiplap wallpaper. So it is time for a change and I'm ready to start attacking these home projects. And it starts today with my transformation of my kitchen island. And this is gonna be the momentum that leads me into all the rest of the kitchen renovations that I have been wanting to do so badly. So if you guys need that motivation or inspiration to get started on a home project yourself, I hope today's video does that for you or at least gives you some ideas of what to do. Now we decided on the shiplap wallpaper because number one, it's inexpensive. This whole entire project costed less than $100 and I will leave all the cost details at the end of this video. So make sure you watch to the end so you can catch all that info. But we did it for that purpose of it being inexpensive and it's also just a quick and easy transformation. And also, we really aren't sure like what we wanna permanently have the island as. So we figured this is easily removable if we decide to change our mind down the road. Cause we do, if we do the shiplap, we're gonna do like the real shiplap wood but we just didn't wanna go do anything permanent yet until we have our entire kitchen like transformed to see just exactly how we want our island to fit with the way the kitchen turns out. So if that makes sense, that's why we're doing it temporarily, I should say, but it's gonna be a quick and easy fix and I'm so excited because it's time we need to change this brown paneling totally outdated. It's an eyesore. When you turn the corner and you look in my kitchen, that's like the first thing that you see is my island. So this is well overdue and I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. So if you mamas are with me, let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the space is clean. So as you can see here, I'm just moving everything out of the way and I am vacuuming the floor around it because with the wallpaper, it is a peel and stick, and you do not want to get any type of dust or debris, or if for some reason it fell on the floor, it would just reduce that uh, being stuck on the back of the wallpaper. And then I went ahead and I used my vinegar and water solution to clean the actual surface of the island itself and just, you know, make sure there's no dirt or any type of sticky substances on it. I did have some stickers I needed to pull off here from one of my kids. Um, so I'm just removing those and also, you know, just found some like dried up food because the kids usually sit around this counter and um, sit on the stools when they eat. So you just want to make sure all that is removed off the wall before you attempt and make sure it dries very good. I actually went over it with a dry towel just to make sure it was completely dry before I started the process. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is measure the width of your island. And then you want to compare it to the width of the pieces of the wallpaper. And it's going to depend on how many actual sheets of wallpaper you're going to be able to get across the island before you will have to cut smaller strips. I was trying to avoid needing to cut smaller strips because I knew that that would complicate things when it comes to lining up that black lines of the shiplap. And also I didn't want it to be revealed in the result. So I made sure that I started at this back wall of my island because I knew moving forward that if I needed to put a smaller strip on the front corner part of the island, it would be covered up with the wood trim that I knew already I would be installing later in this project. Right here, I wanted to show you guys like the real time feeling of this type of project because it was a bit time consuming just because I will warn you, you have to have like a lot of patience <laughs> to work with this wallpaper. Um, the first piece was the easiest because you're just, you know, starting your guide, you're placing it, you're just making sure the air bubbles are out of it. And I did go back and forth between like that scraper thing to push the air bubbles out 
Um, but I also liked using my hand in, in certain areas. So it really just depends. But um, if you guys want me to make you a video uh, talking about some tips and tricks for this, I'll be happy to do that. But for the most part, you just need to start with, you know, um, flattening it out in the middle and then spreading it out to each side. But the first piece was the quickest and the most easiest because, like I said, you're starting off. It wasn't until I got to doing the second piece and you really need to line up those shiplap lines and also make sure that you are putting the second piece close enough together to the first piece so that there's no gap in between them. And I was like, you know, OCD about this when it came time for this. So it, I probably took longer than most people, but I wanted to be sure that none of this brown paneling was, was going to show through in between like the seams. Um, I could have went ahead and primed this paneling before I did the wallpaper, which is actually what the directions tell you to do. Like they want you to prime everything, your wall before you do it. But like I said, I was looking to do this as quickly as possible and as easily as possible. So I just went ahead and skipped that whole step altogether. And so that's why when it comes to matching up the seams, in my case, it was really crucial that I did it you know, close enough to the point where the brown paneling would not show through and also close enough, but not making sure not to overlap the, the wallpaper pieces because you don't want to overlap them. That would look really tacky. So it was a very detail oriented project and process, I have to admit. But again, patience is the key to this. And, um, you know, the end result, like they say, hard work pays off. <laughs> and this definitely paid off, but it wasn't as hard as I'm actually making it sound. So it was easy, but it was a little time consuming, requiring patience, and just paying close attention to the detail. So I wanted to bring it in closer and really show you guys like, this is as good as it gets when it comes to matching up the seams. And to be honest, like this is the one thing that really bugs me about this entire project, but it's really not noticeable from a distance. It's only if you come up really close. So I just have to get over that. But I want to share with you guys like how it turns out in real life. One of the things I thought was really cool about this wallpaper is that it is stretchable. I mean, like, obviously, you don't want to, like, stretch it completely out of its pattern and all that. But you can pull at it and tug at it if you need to, to, like, you know, match up the lines or match up the seams. Because that's basically what I did in order to be able to match it up because, you know, there's just no perfect way for them to just completely connect together. So it did require a little bit of like, you know, stretching, like some delicate stretching to kind of like guide it to the other part of the seam to match up the patterns of the black shiplap lines, um, you know, and things like that. So I just wanted to point that out that the fact that this is a little bit stretchable is actually a good thing. Some people say that it's you know, not a good thing. They don't like working with that because it is stretchable, but I think it's actually a plus. Another cool thing is that you can remove the wallpaper if you need to. So like, you know, when you're working with this, I don't know if you've noticed, but there were several times I stuck it on and I had to actually pull it all off to start over again. I think I might have edited most of that out, <laughs> but Yes, when you're working with it firsthand, it easily removes. However, if you take a look over in that one section of my paneling, you'll notice that there are like white marks, all those, that little white pattern going on. Well, that is because I did originally do a test piece before starting this project because of a few different reasons, which I highly recommend you do a test piece. It doesn't have to be as big as mine was. I did the whole section. <laughs> 
But I really wanted to get a feel for like if this is what I wanted to, you know, stick with, if I wanted to do this. I also wanted to see it in the daylight and the nighttime. Make sure it was something I really was sure about doing before I actually did the project. And I did keep it on for about three days before I decided to do the work of the project. And since I did go with a slightly different pattern, I had to remove the test piece and toss it. And when I removed it after being on for like three days, it did pull off some of the color as you could see here. So I just wanted to forewarn you that if you are planning to put this over some sort of a colored wall or colored space and you are concerned about removing the color when you do decide to remove the wallpaper later down the road it will take off color it did not take off like pieces of the paneling but it did take off the color so just know before starting this that it will ruin the color of a space bright flash So this is the part that I was referring to earlier about the space that was going to need like the smaller sections of the wallpaper. And so this happened to be my last sheet of wallpaper from this one roll. And I was reluctant to buy a whole other roll just to fill this small little section in. So what I did was I decided to, you know, just measure out each little vertical strip from this one piece. And then I just was able to match the pattern on top of one another. And so you'll see how that plays out right here. Okay, so a funny story here. I was like super paranoid about getting electrocuted with the metal from the X-Acto knife and cutting around the electrical socket. My husband is an electrician by trade, so I was like, honey, I'm like scared. Am I doing this right? So it was just kind of funny. And you know what? You never know. Like metal to metal, that shocks you, right? So I was very careful and I pulled up the paper so I was to avoid any type of metal touching metal here.
them. This is the second day. The sun's getting ready to about set and we decided we're just gonna try to finish out this island. We just need to add the trim pieces, but I just wanna show you like how we are doing this. And um, Dennis is actually in the garage right now cutting the pieces. So yeah, we're just hoping to get this all finished up today. So let me show you what I'm working with right here. Okay, so basically under here, we have to add a um, piece of trim under there because if you look close, whoop, there is like this gap. There's that gap right in there, okay? And then that's why this part, you can kind of see like where the seam separates. I wasn't too worried about that just because I knew it would get covered. But so we have a piece of trim to put up along there. And then we're going to obviously put the baseboard down there and that's the side we're just kind of looking at it how it's going to be and then over here we have a corner piece and then we have a piece of trim that's going to go here so and then obviously the baseboard down there so that's what we're working with <laughs> project with the trim now I still have to paint that white I have to paint all the trim to freshen it up I have to do the wood filler so I'm gonna do wood filler then I'm gonna paint everything and then I am gonna paint that brown piece of trim that actually is connected around to the cabinets so I'm super excited you guys it turned out really good
at this point, all that's left to do is paint all the trim and the baseboards as well as that corner edge that wraps around to the cabinets. And then if you notice on the back wall where I started the wallpaper, there is a black line. That is because there is a slight gap between the island and the wall itself. So we need to run to the home store, pick up another piece of wood trim, install it there and get that painted. And yeah, that will be all guys. I decided not to film the painting part of it because obviously you guys will just see me painting, but this is the total transformation of our kitchen island. I'm super excited, but this project has begun our home renovations in our kitchen and I love the result. If you guys liked what you saw today, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you are first to be notified when I post my new upcoming videos of all the other home renovations that I will be bringing your way. And please be sure to leave a comment below letting me know if you do wanna see more videos like this or what exactly you are here to see. I really appreciate your time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and as promised, make sure you check out the last couple slides of this video because it will have the details of the supplies used and the total cost. Thanks for watching, mamas. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Stepping out, it's Friday night. Huh?